Hello everybody and welcome to a little late installment of Tribal Tuesday. I'm just going to make sure my volume's up here. Oh, my volume was down. Good thing I checked. Um, if this is your first time joining us, welcome. Uh, each week we've had lots and lots of new viewers, so super excited about that. If this is your first time, um, my name is Kim and you are joining Johnson's in Gimli, Manitoba. Super excited to have you along uh, for this Tuesday. Like every Tuesday, we are featuring um, our tribal collection, which is a huge percentage of our inventory and we have lots and lots of variations um, for you to see. Last week we did our sleepwear video and uh, we also give away a $75 gift certificate each week and I'm happy to announce last week's uh, winner was Doris Bristow and so uh, she was watching on the replay so whether you're live or on the replay uh, congratulations Doris and um, how to enter that's big that's important um, is comment on the video with hi my name is uh, where you're watching from and are you watching live or on the replay and um, just put all the names in a hat and draw one out at the end so um, we have the gift certificate here for you Doris and I'll message you as well so sorry usually I I message the girls earlier but we've had a super 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 busy day and uh, just get into this video a little bit late so yeah so anyways uh, firstly just wanted to take a moment just to, to express our pre appreciation uh, for all of the thoughts of sympathy and condolence um, on the loss of our mom and Emma on Friday um, there for that reason there was no Fashion Friday video so I apologize for that I just kind of wasn't up to posting or doing anything like that so uh, the, if you thought you missed last week's Fashion Friday uh, you didn't <laughs> there just wasn't one on Friday so we're back to our regular scheduled times um, on Tuesday and uh, this week's winner will will do a Fashion Friday as well this week so for the Tuesday we'll announce it on Friday as usual so we're kind of back to our regular schedule so yeah so just want to uh, say thanks so much to all of our friends and customers for all of the kind words and cards and arrangements uh, we certainly appreciate all of your thoughts um, so yeah it's um, never easy but sucks and we just have to sort of she would definitely want us to be going on and um, and enjoying life so that's what we're that's what we're back to doing kind of as of today so um, okay so without further ado uh, we decided to do a color story this time with the success of our sort of peachish blushish video, which I kind of threw together at the very last minute and ended up being our most watched live video, I thought I would do one of the other colorations. Um, and I decided on sort of my name for it as Seaside Blues. Um, Seaside Blues with a little bit of lobster. So that's what you're getting today. Um, when I was coming up with it, I'm like, you know what, do I even have enough like navy, white and denim to feature? And then when I was gathering, like I have all of this, it doesn't even fit on the, on the storyboard. So I'm gonna show you the storyboard. Uh, we pulled in some denim as well. So for me, Seaside Blues is kind of all about that resort lifestyle. So it's a little bit nautical, kind of pulling in a little bit of that lobster. So the coral, the lobster, that's kind of one of my favorite colors with denim or white. And you can do a lot with it. So you can really um, dress it up or down. And we're gonna show you a couple of different options as well. The other fun thing to do is match fabric textures in this type of color story. So I'm gonna show you some really, really lightweight bottoms and some really, really heavy weight tops, which are gonna kind of, you know, mix and match together in a fun way. So I did do a storyboard um, for you guys because it was when I had everything on the rack, it was sort of like just a jumble of everything. So I wanted to um, pull it all together just so that you can kind of see where I was going with the color story and how, you, how it might uh, go into your own wardrobe as well. So one of the things that we always suggest is wearing 80% um, of your clothes 12 months a year. So that's one of the things that I try to do in my own wardrobe. Um, in the summer, you put in your capsule summer wardrobe, so your tank tops, uh, your shorter skirts, your bathing suits, all that stuff. And then those are, I mean, really summer is right this very minute, right? So it's kind of a short season. And then when September rolls around, you take out just those pieces and you're putting in your, your fall additions, right? So this is a great color story to put in just for those fun little um, options, but denim isn't all year round. So hello, hello. Hi guys. Hi Dorothy. Hi Carla. Hi Trish. 
making sure I'm that I'm I, everyone can hear me and see me. So sometimes I forget to turn the camera on. Sometimes I forget the volume like I did today. Um, Facebook Live, the one thing that you have to know how to do is laugh at yourself. So I love doing the videos. The one thing that I will say that I don't like doing is watching myself on camera, right? But it, it's all good. So, okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna kind of go from short to long. Uh, what are we gonna do short to long? I'm gonna do short to long in bottoms and then we'll pull out the tops and I'm gonna bring everything kind of closer, right? Because it's really hard to see back there. But I wanted you to kind of get just a little scan of where that coloration is coming from. So we're gonna start off with some skirts. Just realized I forgot to take a picture of my lovely little storyboard. So I'm gonna to have to put it back up again. Um, so we did mix in some of the golf pieces because finally we're gonna get on the golf course. Um, and then also some denim because in a resort town in the summer, in anybody's summer really, denim is a really easy way to add in some casualness as well as bring in some fashion. So uh, this one is a little tribal jeans. This has been really, really good. It's actually a skirt. So it has a one little flap here and then shorts underneath and shorts at the back. So some of the skirts that we are, um, that we're showing are all around. So there's this one that's denim, really beachy, kind of has that little bit of a fringe detail, just a fun little summer piece. That's definitely a summer capsule. Inject a little bit of fashion, inject a little bit of kind of trendiness into some of the pieces, and then that kind of will take you right through till the end of the season. Next one is a little bit more classic piece. So we just have a plain navy skirt. This comes in white as well. And this is an all around skirt. So it looks like a skirt both ways. And if this looks familiar, you may have seen it, remember it from the golf video. And then I'll just show you what the golf looks like. So this is actually just like a really, almost like a nylon-y short. In previous years, the shorts have been cottony and I find that they stick. So this one is really nice. It's not maybe, is it? Yeah, I think it's actually the same uh, fabrication as the golf dresses. So you'll recall that as well. So really, really nice layer. It's not gonna be hot. It's not gonna cling or anything. Um, but this is just a nice classic golf skirt. But even if you're not golfing, I'm gonna put it with a couple of tops after and you'll notice that it doesn't look that sporty depending on the type of top that you're thinking about putting with it. So I'm just gonna whip through the bottoms and then we'll kind of put tops together. Okay, and then next one. Next one is actually not tribal, so I'm sort of cheating here a little bit. Uh, it's Renoir, but it just fit in so nicely with this coloration that I wanted to put it in as well. Sort of an engineer stripe. Um, almost sort of a bit of a seersucker. If you can see on the video, it's hard to see a bit, but it does have a bit of a raised texture. And super, super, super cute. And really just a little fun golf piece. So this one, again, if you're putting sort of a plain navy bottom with it, or if you're mixing it back to denim, like we're going to do, it definitely loses that sporty look to it. So yeah, this one has been really good. It is Renoir, but it's been excellent. Okay, and then this is the same skirt. So I'm cheating again here um, in Renoir as well. But this one is just that little bit darker ground. So kind of a mosaic bit of pattern. And these guys are all like size four to 16 ish. Um, okay, so now that we have our bottoms, let's see what we can do to, with for tops with it. So I am gonna start off with um, this little guy. This is one of my favorite little tops. And I didn't, I didn't think this part through, sorry. This is definitely off, as off the cuff as you're gonna get. <laughs> okay, so we paired this one here with just the navy skirt. And I like this one because it does make it just that little bit dressier, right? So this top is kind of almost a little bit of a burnout. It has a bit of a texture on the fabric, um, a bit of ruching at the neckline. We all love ruching, a bit of a flutter sleeve. So not a real super tight sleeve, but what a gorgeous pattern, eh? This is to me where that lobster came from. So when I was doing seaside blues, I didn't have any sort of color in there. And I thought, you know what? It looks very blah. We needed a little bit of pump to pump that up. So that's one way to do it. And then um, also we can pull the next colorway, which is actually the exact same top, looks quite different. And just that little bit of lobster you'll notice in the flower. So it's really nice to kind of pull that um, together as well. And I'm gonna pair this one. Let's, let me just get rid of a few things here. Like I say, I didn't, uh, this is totally real reality TV here. Here we go. Okay, now we're back in business. 
Okay, so and when you pair that together, again, makes that bottom look a little bit less casual. So kind of depending on how you put this together, you could definitely do a lot of different things with it. So this flutter sleeve top uh, comes from extra small to 2XL and it is 49. This color is called powder and this one is called guava. So there is more lobster pieces. There is sort of a, there's a vest, there's some, um, some fun little capris and stuff, but I was trying to make this more denim based and more kind of that seaside blues type of coloration. So, okay, so there's that. So those are, that's sort of the skort department. Oh, one more skort. Okay, so one more skort. This one also is Renoir, but um, part of their basics program has that chambray in it, and I really love it with the seaside blues combination. If you're looking for a skort, it's not a little, a little back here. If you're looking for a skort that is more drapey, like that's got that real nice soft buttery hand to it, these 10 cell ones are beautiful. They come in um, the chambray as well as white and taupe and they have an elastic waist, like they're very, very breezy, and also have that nylon short underneath. So yeah, so this one's been good. These ones come small to 2XL, easy. And I would say they're like knee length, right? So they're all kind of maybe a little bit longer than the other ones, um, but certainly a nice length for most people. I'll just put these guys back up so my girls here have a few, have a bottom. Perfect. And this guy. Okay, there. Now, next we have a couple of shorts. Because let's face it, short season is very short. Uh, so for me, you'll very seldom ever see me in shorts, other than if it's a very, very hot day. So finally, we're going to get on some of those hot days, like on Sunday, it was crazy hot. Um, so we do have a couple of fun little fashion shorts that would be a great addition to your summer capsule. This one is a little bit of a heavyweight twill. It does have sort of a triple stitch um, on it. And just a really nice extra piece of sort of trim there. And pork chop pocket. This is definitely a short inseam. So if you like a shorter short, this is maybe a three or four inch inseam. And it is, yeah, it's pretty short. So lots of gals like that kind of right on the hip. And then we have a little Bermuda for those of us who may not like a shorter short. This one is actually fun. It's a really nice lightweight stretchy denim and it has a fun little rope trim on the side. So yeah, this is a really nice look and put my shirt back here. Uh, not quite. We could do our prairie tuxedo look. I always say that I, I like match, right? I like matchy match. So and most people will say, well, the only people on only people on the prairies wear a matching jean and jacket, which is sort of true, maybe. But if you're sort of that person and you want to do a little um, dark tank underneath, that would work out as well. This piece actually is super pretty. It is a almost it's a little heavier for a shirt, but not quite heavy enough for a jacket. So it's kind of one of those almost like an indoor type of blazer ish. Um, beautiful little detail on it with that embroidery. Just gorgeous. The pearl button. So that one definitely has a bit of a Western connotation to it. For me, one of my personal favorites. So I love Navajo. I love Southwest and I love Western. So this is definitely Kim's pick um, of the day. And it comes uh, extra small to 2XL as well and super stretchy. So this is kind of a good like right this minute kind of jacket. I would wear this as an indoor jacket with a tank underneath undone. That's, I, that's how I would um, wear it myself. But certainly you can do whatever you like with it. Um, a fun way to do it would also be to pull in that little white short, right? That would be super cute with it. And then do a white tank underneath or navy tank underneath. Okay. So if you're not a shorts person, and let's face it, lots of us are not, uh, we do have a great capri option as well. So this one is Renoir. And what I like about this one is that it is all one color. So lots of times a uh, denim capri will have like a gold contrast stitch to it, which makes it look genie, which makes it look a little bit more casual. What I like about this one is it has a navy stitch and really gives that sort of elongated line and very easy classic capri. So if you don't like a lot of 
like with the whole trend of like embroidery, which we're going to talk about in a minute. If you want a clean classic capri, this is a great option. It also is a little bit of a wider calf. So this, I didn't buy this capri, but I did try it on. It looked really pretty. Um, I have a really wide calf. So I always look for something that's kind of a straight calf. And this one does that definitely. It's a nice regular waist. It's about an eight and a half to a nine inch rise. And it has a stretchy waistband. So very, very, very uh, complimentary to lots of different figures. And then if you are thinking of, maybe you really do like some fun things for summer. It is embroidered, but this is one of the fun ones. I think we had featured this on one of the other, um, which video was it? Maybe I even pulled it into that blush video. Oops, Facebook Live, gotta love it. Anyways, but also just look at that little fun summer embroidery, like the little rainbow stars, flamingos, super cute. So this is a jegging, so it is a trim leg um, and it's a bit of an ankle pant. So this would be ankle length on me. Really, really, really super darling. I love it. And it's an Audrey, so this is a mid-rise Capri. Okay, so that's that. Any girls need a jacket or any girls need a pant here? So we don't. Okay, so so that takes us to sort of the end of the bottom. So I'm going to pull out a couple of tops and then we'll kind of mix and match a little bit um, into the bottom. So I do have some extra bottoms that I didn't have room for as well. So I'm going to pull those out as well. And um, just throwing in some tops here to kind of go casual to dressy. So we're going to do, this one is actually a new brand for us. It's called Coco Y Club. And I love it because it really brought in all of those blues. So it's a fun little t-shirt. And it does have a little bit of a sort of lacy, almost a brocade lace, like a heavy lace on the back, but super cute back to just your plain basic Bermuda. So that's just your everyday golf Bermuda. If you like a longer Bermuda short, this is the one we have it in black and white and navy and tan, tons of colors, um, really nice with that. But as we're going through, you'll kind of see that you can dress it however it fits your lifestyle. So if you wanna be a little bit dressed up for work, put on a jacket, you know, have that little bit more of a classic piece. If you're thinking beachy, you know, put this guy back to like almost like a little pair of, this is a really cute one too, almost has a crochet type of a cutout detail and they're lined so you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, really, really pretty. And paper bag waist, easy fit, pretty short. So if you like a short short, this is a good choice. But look how cute that looks with white. So yeah, really liking that one. Um, and then if you're thinking, you know, I really want to be a little bit more covered up. And for those of us who might like summer sweaters, um, I am that person. So I always like a little light layer, a light summer sweater, really difficult to find. This is a, one that's been very good for us. It does bring in a little bit, bit of our lobster option here with a over the shoulder trim. Nice little um, tie neckline, kind of brings in that bit of a no, um, nautical kind of feel. And a nice, really, really fine hand to that one. And this one is dark navy, and we have, I think, a medium and a large left. So our sizes are getting depleted, definitely. So I'm not gonna say I have full size ranges and everything that I'm showing you, but I definitely have, you know, something in something kind of thing. Okay, so there's that. And what else do we miss on here? Just our little lobster. So here's the other pump of lobster. Uh, this one also does come in navy, but I didn't um, bring both of them. This one is kind of fun because it has an open sleeve and then it also has a little button. So actual functioning button and almost a tortoiseshell kind of look. And to me, that kind of brings in that bit of a beachy feel as well. So really nice. Um, drop sleeve, breezy, breezy fit. So this is definitely going to be a little bit more um, um, boxy, but if that's what, I mean, lots of the pants now are getting higher waisted, so it's kind of fun to have a little boxier top. So coming in navy as well. Okay, so those were the ones that I knew that I had to get through. And now I'll just kind of do a quick highlight of some that are maybe singles. So some of these that I'm going to show you now are actually just single single ones left. So still in our summer um, sweater. This is one of my favorites and I'm totally gonna buy this if no one buys it. Uh, so it says bonjour on it, um, but it's a really nice, again, beachy. So you throw that with the natural for me, well, not for me, but the natural that I see with this sweater is that little short. 
So I like it when you kind of do that bit of a close fitting bottom and then you're just kind of doing your drape in the top, right? So this would be super fun. Think bonfire, think you're sitting on the beach, you're going to the fireworks. Um, you're maybe walking up town, having a drink, sitting on the bandstand, listening to the music. It's a little cool, but you want to still wear shorts. So this might be a fun little way to dress that. And that one we do have only one left in a large. Okay, and then the next one, super pretty. Uh, this one also one, le one left in a large and it's called Bluebird. Kind of a fun little daisy print on it. This one actually has a lot more weight to it as well as kind of a boucle finish. So you definitely have a bit more movement in the fabric, a bit more interest in the fabric. Uh, this one is just a classic knit cotton sweater. So this one actually has been fantastic. People have really liked this one. And number one sweater, number one by far, has been this little dip dye. And this is basically what the entire collection for me in my mind's eye is based on. So I love all of the sort of oceany lake blues. So it goes from white to light blue, sort of that bluebird color, and then finally to indigo. And I like that it ends with indigo on the bottom because if you're wearing jeans, it really is a nice flow rather than having the white on the bottom and the indigo on the top. So yeah, that's definitely, um, that's the piece for sure that this is built on. I only have one left in a 2XL and it is kind of that traditional like 80s shaker, right? Kind of what we all had um, as just a pullover sweater, but it's really a nice weight for summer. It's been fantastic. People have really, really liked it. Um, and I wish I could get more, but I can't. So if you are a 2XL, this might be the last one waiting for you. Uh, top underneath is also cute. It was just dressed like this. I kind of actually forgot that top was on here, but also a cute top for jeans. Okay, and what else did I miss? Just a couple of tops that would be great back to the white or the navy bottoms. This one is fun because it's got kind of a double print kind of effect. So of course it's my little Hawaiian and then kind of a tie-dye sleeve. So it looks very basic on the rack, but when you get it on, it's actually really pretty on. And it has kind of a cool nylon hand to it. It's not a real cottony top. This one, extra large, I think we have two or three left in large, extra large, 2XL in that. And here's your beachy bonfire. So I love bonfires. I love s'mores. I love all of that. That's one of my favorite parts of summer. And to me, this definitely is perfect for that. We have a little piece of our lobster on here as well. And this is awesome for throwing over a three-quarter legging if you're out walking. Um, it is a little bit longer, so I don't want to pair it necessarily with a short unless you're going to do kind of that tuck thing. Um, but it's definitely a heavier weight. So if, even if you want to throw it over a bathing suit, you definitely could do that. Uh, but it's been a really great piece. We had it in three colors, I think, but we're down to this color left. And just in a classic navy and white. Okay, next, keeping on our striped bandwagon. Um, this one has been super fun as well. Raglan sleeve, so a nice easy fit in the shoulder. Does have a hood on it. And of course that little lobster jumps out, but you could really nicely pair this with the mint would be really cute with it or also the cobalt blue so if, it, if you had a cobalt blue bottom which we do didn't think of that till right now uh, you could definitely do the little tuck and pair that with a nice um nice three-quarter capri or a crop so this one we have a couple left as well this one is extra uh, 2xl and it's 69 so just kind of give you a frame of reference and last top piece very close tie for kim's pick with this as well um, this is a really true eyelet, so it sort of has the same type of connotation uh, as that little short with the paper bag waist has, but it's heavy. It's a heavyweight fabric. It's kind of almost has a little canvassy type of feel. So this one is what they call girlfriend shacket. So all the popularity that the shackets had last year, people were buying like two and three at a time. Uh, we will have them again for fall in like a month, which is crazy. Uh, but this is a really nice summer version. So you'll notice the shoulder line is way down. So it's going to hit you kind of here and breezy. It's open body. It's shorter. It's great with those higher waist jeans. Patch pocket comes in extra small to 2XL. Definitely almost a tie for Kim's pick for sure. Okay, last but certainly not least, I just wanted to run through a couple of dresses uh, that may or may not be necessarily tribal, but fit with this description. And to me, really that seaside um, kind of feel to them. Okay, first one is Hatley. And I think we showed this in the Hatley video as well, but I love that kind of a Mandela um, print, a little bit of the turquoise neckline, which is a nice combination. 
This one is not stretchy, so it's cotton, but perfect for that beach day. Next one is two French dressing, oops, two French dressing ones. Um, one with a little bit of ruching. And again, there's that navy palette that just kind of is a really nice back to uh, workwear if you have a casual job. And then you can also wear that on the weekend. Really cute little dress here as well. Two pockets on the front. And back to tribal. So these ones we showed maybe briefly. Uh, this is a last chance. This to me is like like the, the best print ever. Kind of sunset, kind of Hawaii, kind of seaside, seaside blues. All of my favorite things. It is small and it's round. So, well, the answer is, will you have to iron it? Yes, you will. But it's worth it because it's so cute. One left in a small. Uh, next, we have this little reversible number. So we, you'll recall that we had this in that um, guava print, which is sort of that nutmeggy color with the black. So we do have it also in navy reversing to navy so reverses completely and it's really nicely finished on both sides other ones back to navy really pretty here that one's probably my favorite of course tropical and this one is not reversible it looks similar to the reversible dress but it is not almost kind of a bathing suit type of fabrication so it really would be great to pack with as well and is that my last dress is that my last dress yes it is Oh no, I got one more. Uh, then last but not least, uh, we do have a golf dress with a sleeve. So lots of people had said, oh, I love the golf dresses that you showed, but I would never wear sleeveless. So I kind of had forgotten that I had not showed one with a sleeve. So I thought, why well, do I put this one in as well? So this is a full length golf dress. And then it does have the shorts at the back. So easy, easy. Um, and I just love that little bit of a panel print. So very slimming design on this one. I thought that fit in perfectly with our seaside seat theme. Okay, so there's your Tuesday tribal tidbit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed some um, coastal thoughts, some beach inspiration, and I hope I inspired you to kind of get out your little capsule wardrobe, um, see what fits. That's always the first challenge. And if you're needing a little bit of inspiration, um, you can always hop over to our website as well. We have all the tribal on one page and you can always scroll through as well to see what we have left in sizes. If you're not comfortable ordering online, please feel free to call. We've had lots and lots of phone in orders and we're happy to ship um, free over $100 as well via Pure Later. So have a peek on there, see what kind of sizes and stuff that we have left. If you um, have a question about any specific item, uh, feel free to screenshot it in the video and you can always either give us a call, send us an email, um, or pop in and we're happy to find it for you. So enjoy the rest of your Tribal Tuesday. And if you're just tuning us late, please make sure that you leave us a comment with your name and where you're watching from and are you watching live or on the replay. And we'll, we'll be sure to enter your name into the draw for the $75 Tribal Gift Certificate, which we will be announcing on Friday. And uh, don't forget tomorrow evening, uh, we are also doing our regular um, shop social with Kim. I'm like losing my train of thought. <laughs> Our regular shop social with Kim video um, at seven o'clock tomorrow evening. And I haven't decided what we're doing for that yet, but it's going to be fashion uh, because we did footwear last week with our Merrill video. So we'll be announcing the winners of the uh, free pair of Merrill and Keen tomorrow evening. And um, so yeah, don't forget to tie up your supper dishes early and uh, hop on over to the... Um, well, I'm saying um a lot in this video. <laughs> Hop on over tomorrow evening uh, to the Shop Social with Kim at 7 o'clock. And we will look forward to chatting with you. Have a nice evening. Talk to you later. Bye.